What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show you a brief update on my Royal Guards progress. But before we start the video, do you have problems AFK grinding in ROX? Do you always worry that you may overcharge or the battery of your phone, tablet, or laptop may overheat? Do you worry about your electricity bill when grinding using your personal computer that is running for days non-stop? Or do you encounter intermittent connection from your internet service provider which disconnects your character when AFK grinding? Well, if that is the case, then UG Phone can solve all of your problems. UG Phone is a cloud phone that runs independently in the cloud and it does not consume the memory or battery of your physical device. Even if you close the UG Phone app, your game will still continue to run in the cloud which makes this the perfect phone for AFK grinding for 24 hours, 7 days a week non-stop. Nice. You can also run multiple instances of UG Phone in one account, which allows you to play and grind multiple games simultaneously. As you can see, my Shura and Royal Guard are AFK grinding at the same time. UG Phone is available in Google Play for Android, App Store for iOS, Windows Store for PC, and you can also use a web browser to run UG Phone. So if you want to try out UG Phone, you can use my link shown in the description below. And you can also use my invitation code which really helps me out. So thank you guys and thank you UG Phone for the sponsor. Now let's get back to the video. It's been a while since my last progression update for my Royal Guard. I think the last video that I made was uploaded last April. Although not a lot has changed in terms of the equipment and cards. Most of the changes that I made are for the enchantment lines in the accessory. Just like what I did to my Shura, I transitioned some of my enchantment lines to a different city. In addition to that, in my last progression video, the divinity system was not yet implemented in the game. So in this update, you will see a huge difference especially with the addition of the new divinity system. So let's start with the basic. In terms of my stats, you already know this by now. But my main stat is Vitality, and my secondary stat is Dexterity. This is because I need more haste in order to use higher level skills. In terms of my equipment, this is basically the same from my last video, as I am still using the level 110 set for my weapon and talisman. However, I did change my armors from level 50 set to level 80. This is because I haven't been really that active in playing ROX recently. The level 80 set is much better for PvE, especially when doing boss hunts in the game. If you've been following my channel for quite some time now, you probably heard me say that I don't really spend a lot of time anymore in playing ROX. This is because on top of having multiple characters to manage in the game, I've been quite busy in my IRL work as well. In addition to that, I've also been playing other games, especially in console and in PC. That is the reason why I only do my daily and event activities most of the time. Let's now go through the cards that I am currently using in my build. As I've mentioned in my Shura's progression video, this character is very lucky when it comes to the gacha machine. My Royal Guard is already using a two-slotted headgear for the face and mouth. For my awakenings, I am currently at Upgrade Awakening Tier 7, Enchant Awakening Tier 6, and Refine Awakening Tier 3. If you've seen the enchantments in my accessories, I've already transitioned to the Physical Penetration stat in Alberta. For now, I'm still thinking about what lines will I use for my talisman enchantments. I'm not yet sure if I will go on a full Alberta enchantment or go for the Zlude enchantment instead. Here are my other advanced stats for this character. My final physical penetration is around 480%, my final physical damage bonus is at 
and my fire elemental enhancement is at 270%. When it comes to my skills, this is basically the same skills that I've been using since my last video. So if you want to know about the skill that I'm using, together with their explanations, go check out my other progression videos. Same with my shadow equipment, my SE is still at level 6 as this is not really a priority for me. For my pet, this is also the same as what I had in my older videos. The reason why I haven't really leveled up the stars of my pet is because I'm still planning to refine the pet's aptitude. A quick tip for you guys, if you want to refine a pet, the cheapest way to refine it is when it has a low star levels. The higher the star level of your pet, the more refinement potion required to do the refinement. Moving on to the divinity system, here are the divinities that I am currently using. And that's basically it for my Royal Guard's progress. I also did some refinement on my weapon, but I failed miserably. But before we go there, let's do a quick damage test with this character. The best way to really bring out the maximum potential of this character is to have an AB in the party. Let me show you how crucial an Archbishop's skill for a Royal Guard. As you can see, when you have an AB, you can literally spam the crap out of the Royal Guard skill, which gives you a significant TPS increase. And that's it for today's video. There are a lot of potential improvement for this character. I just don't have the time as of the moment to do this progression accordingly. But anyway, this is just a quick update for my Royal Guard. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more ROX content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. GG. You're a superhero.